How to make a mermaid shell top. One of the most important parts of a mermaid costume, besides the tail, is a sea shell top. Mermaids are very fashionable creatures, and wear all sorts of tops. Sea shell bras are their favorite, but some of the more modern mermaids prefer t-shirts with shells painted on them. Regardless of which method you choose, you are bound to end up with something that will be the envy of any mermaid. Making a sea shell bra. Get a strapless bra that fits you. You will be covering this bra with shells, glitter, and other things, so make sure it's one you don't care about. The bra can be any color, but a skin-toned one would be the best. You can also use something that matches your mermaid costume, such as teal or purple. A strapless bra works best because it has less fabric to peek out from behind the shells. If you can't find one, try to get one with removable straps instead. You can also use a tank top instead of a bra. Get two shells big enough to cover your bra. You can find large shells in an arts and crafts store. You can also find large plastic shells in a party or costume shop. If they came from a mermaid costume, you may have to cut the strings connecting them off. Avoid getting abalone shells. They are too heavy for shell tops. If you are getting real shells, make sure that they match up as closely as possible. Avoid getting abalone shells. They are too heavy for shell tops. If you are getting real shells, make sure that they match up as closely as possible. Paint the shells with spray paint or acrylic paint, if desired. You don't have to do this, but it's a great way to add color to your costume. You can use any color you want, but purple is especially popular amongst mermaids. For extra sparkle, choose a metallic or pearlescent paint. Let the paint dry before moving on. Keep in mind that most paints will dry a shade or two darker. For an interesting effect, paint the shell a flat color, let it dry, then lightly go over it with a dry brush and a matching metallic color. The paint will stick to just the raised surfaces, giving it a subtle shimmer. Keep in mind that most paints will dry a shade or two darker. For an interesting effect, paint the shell a flat color, let it dry, then lightly go over it with a dry brush and a matching metallic color. The paint will stick to just the raised surfaces, giving it a subtle shimmer. Coat the shells with extra fine glitter for extra sparkle. Coat the shells with glue first, then sprinkle glitter over them. Use iridescent glitter or glitter that matches the shell color. This will prevent the glitter from clashing against the shells. L greater than you can use spray on glue or liquid glue i.e. Mod Podge, School Glue, etc. Extra fine scrapbooking glitter will look much better than the chunky, craft glitter. You can use spray on glue or liquid glue i.e. Mod Podge, School Glue, etc. Extra fine scrapbooking glitter will look much better than the chunky, craft glitter. Hot glue the shells to the bra. Coat the back of the shell with hot glue, then quickly press it against the bra cup. Repeat this step for the other shell and bra cup. You can have the shells pointing straight up and down, off to the sides, or at slight, outward angles. You can also use industrial strength glue, such as E6000. You can also use industrial strength glue, such as E6000. Embellish the seashell bra with rhinestones, sequins, or beads. Use hot glue or superglue to attach rhinestones, sequins, or beads to the shells. You can glue them randomly over the shell, down the groves, or focus them on the bottom of the shell. For something more subtle, glue mini rhinestones along the top edge of the shell instead. Use colors that match the shell or your mermaid costume. White, clear, or iridescent are great options too. Fill the gaps in on the bra with more embellishments. Focus on the spot between the two shells. If you have any bra cup material peeking out, it would be a good idea to cover it up as well. Avoid putting anything on the bra strap itself, otherwise it may lose its stretchiness. Consider gluing a smaller shell or starfish in the spot between the two shells. Add some final touches, if desired. Here is where you can get really creative, and add those last few touches to bring character to your mermaid bra. Listed below are some ideas, glue lace trim to the edges of the shell for a more feminine look. Add a strand or two of pears or beads between the two bra cups. They will dangle against your ribcage. 
If you don't want the bra strap visible, you could loosely cover it with some fish net to make it as obvious. If you used a tank top, you could glue some more embellishments to the shoulder straps.